What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, trolls? YouTube fan? What's up, you guys? What the fuck is up? Like, for real, what's up? Okay? Like, do you ever feel, like, so not prepared? Like, right now, I kid you not, I feel so unprepared. Like, I feel like, for one, I'm really sitting up close to y'all. Super duper close and personal. And I need a little space. Always need a space. But, um, here we go. This is a little bit better. But, um, yes, I feel so unprepared for this Real Talk video. For one, it's Tuesday. Which means that my ass got to record, edit, and then upload. Okay? A three in one. But I just really feel like really unprepared right now. Like, I know during this real talk that my mouth is going to go dry. And I don't have not near one bottle of water up here. Like, not near one. And, like, I've been at the gym. So, I don't really even want to go downstairs. I just, I got a drink. But it's not a H2O. So hopefully my ass don't get dehydrated. Okay, so yes, I came from the gym. Here I am. The mark of the beast has now turned into a light spot. And I'm hoping that the color will clear up quick. Because I don't really want to walk around needing to just put a piece, a, a shot of concealer in that area. Like, serious, I really don't want to walk around and have to put a shot of concealer just to, for everything to blend in. And on top of that, the reason why I got on this hat today is I feel like my eyebrows just did not work out in my favor today. And, and I know this because I'm not even looking at them in amazement. Like, this one in particular right here is kind of like pissing me off and it's making everything just not just not stay mashed together it's just you ever have those days when your eyebrows are just a definite no you know and I love the product that I use which is the NYX lifting and what is it called lift lift and tint brow snatch some shit like that by NYX but it's amazing it's this brow pen it's a very fine point and you can get like the best strokes okay when using this tool and girl my eyebrows come out so real looking sometimes I Myself being amazement like damn you girl you did your thing today That's how they be making me feel but not today today I'm just like really pissed off mode and like really feel like this is just not fair to me But it is what it is. I still love the product other than that, you know I'm not really feeling like at my best today like I woke up and I and I and I pulled the covers back over myself like I woke up probably like the 20th time prior to going to sleep like I can never have like one of those nights where I could just sleep straight through like I don't I've never been one of those type of people like I've seen people like that that can sleep like they'll lay their head down and go to sleep and won't wake up until the next fucking day not to use the bathroom not to get a drink of water not to answer the motherfucking door not to tend to the kids they ass will sleep like for eight nine hours straight like dang I want to sleep like that like on occasion, I would really like to sleep like that, but I'm one of those people who has now turned into it being like I have waking up at least like 10 times out the night. So y'all probably like, bitch, when do you sleep? Whatever the fuck I can, okay? But I, I wake up so many times in the evening. Like, it's not, it's not even sleep. It's just fucking napping or dozing off for me because that's how much I wake up. I woke up this morning probably like the 11th time out of sleeping. And I had just put the covers, like, threw the covers back over my shoulder and was like, I'm not going to the gym today. I'm just going to stay home. Because I really didn't really feel like 100% April and still took my ass to the damn gym. I feel so congested, okay? You, you ever have a cold and you just be so paranoid? You're like, oh, my God, I hope this is not the COVID. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I know it's not that. I just have a change of weather cold and also probably a caught it from my grandson cold. Like, I can catch anything it's always that a cold from him other than that i'm fine never ever had the flu a day in my life never even had a flu vaccination i'm not saying i'm calling myself lucky but i'm just gonna say i call myself blessed but anyway you guys i hope you all are having like a really great day it's real talk it's wednesday you know what i'm saying whenever you guys are watching this i hope you have a great day it ought to be a great day because your ass woke up this morning and what makes it so great is just because of those reasons right there because you was able to wake up. Regardless if you able to get in and out the bed. Girl, your eyes opened up. The rest, you take it from there. You woke up this morning. So, I'm pretty sure it's a great day. 
sometimes people make it like you know kind of like a little struggle for us but either way you can wake up tomorrow god willing so what does it even matter but i hope you guys have like a really great day whenever you're watching this and you already know the rules to real talk i'm glad that we don't have no like no foolishness going on this week this week has been like a really great week for me with trick-or-treat halloween i got to see the grandkids in their outfits they look so cool, you know, so cute. And I also gave out a whole bunch of candy. And I like to see the kids, they dress up. You know, I don't know if that's because I'm getting older. I like to see the kids in the little costumes. And I'd be like, trick or treat. I think I was more excited than these motherfucking kids that was ringing my doorbell was. Like, serious. Like, they standing there with their bags out like, trick or treat. Like, do you want this candy or not? Like, because if you don't, then by all means, I will keep it and put it aside for myself to snack on later. But other than that, like, a really great week. I just ain't really feeling that great. That's the reason why I didn't do a recording yesterday. It's horrible when you have a cold. Like, you feel so congested. And, like, I hate being not able to, like, have, be at my full capacity of breathing. So it's like you get out of breath quicker, like coming up the steps. I'll be feeling like I'm just weighing a ton. And you know what's so crazy when you when I said when I said that? Like five days out the week, bitch, I'm at the gym. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I might do the same shit every day. Sometimes I do switch it up. Yeah, I do. But goddamn, what am I gonna see any like the only improvement that I've seen is my thighs, my hips, and my butt. Other than that, um, the stomach is still hanging tight. She like, girl, what's up? We here to stay. Like, no, bitch, no. Um, I really need you to just, like, suck it in a little bit. Just like how this waist trainer got me. Girl, it got me feeling so snatched. I swear to God, I probably feel like this is the reason why I'm not able to breathe right now. I've had an on since this morning. And true indeed, it doesn't help me breathe any better other than that you know the deal the real deal about real talk if you got a real talk make sure you send it to either or email which is muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com or april's real talk at gmail.com please put in the subject line real talk and if you want to change the names of the people you're talking about referring to or even yourself you can go ahead and let me know that you've done so however if you don't then i'm going to definitely 99.9 .9 percent of the time change it up for you anyway so in that let's get into real talk huh? 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 What? so let's get into this girl i am going through it i need some advice my name for this i guess will be kelly but first i have to tell you that i look forward to your videos every week and i appreciate your honesty and your sorry not sorry attitude it is definitely what i need to hear right now so thank you in advance girl here go okay i've been in a relationship with a man we can call him peter for five almost six years excuse me recently like in the past year and a half he has become obsessed with trying to find me doing something wrong. Things like cheating, talking to another guy, messaging some other guy, tracking me when I leave the house to see if I'm going to some guy's house. The list goes on. Literally, he is so obsessed with trying to catch me doing something wrong that he has now started to make shit up and put it on me as if it's true. For example, one night he had gone to sleep pretty early because he was tired from work. And I am a night owl and sometimes have insomnia, so I'll stay up really late some nights. This night in particular, it was probably around 4 a.m. or something, and I was working on my business, printing some ish on the printer. He woke up and came to the living room area where the printer is located, and I was there crouched down by the printer. Well, apparently he thought that was very suspicious due to the hour it was. And the fact that I didn't have the light on in that room. All I was grabbing was the paper, so I didn't feel that it was necessary to turn the light on. He threw a fit about me being up that late and blah, blah, blah. And then like a week later, he has now turned it into him catching me having sex with another man in our home? Question mark, exclamation mark. That is just one of the crazy ass accusations that he has made up. They make no sense and he literally walks around accusing me of a whole bunch of ish he has made up in his own mind. It's like I'm in the twilight zone. Like I literally am with this man 24 hours a day because I work from home and now so does he. 
I don't go anywhere. I basically have no friends. I'm 36, and it's hard to make friends at this age, girl, LOL. He is literally all I have in my life right now. Pathetic, I know, but I honestly thought that he was the one, and I put all my eggs in one basket, thinking that there is no way we would ever break up. I've always been faithful to this man. I am a very loyal girlfriend. I've always promised that I would never cheat on a partner, and I've kept that promise no matter what. I will admit that in the beginning of our relationship, I used to go hang out with some girlfriends and guy friends that Peter didn't approve of, and I would go anyways because I felt like he was tripping, and I'm a grown-ass woman and can go hang out with whoever I choose. So he put some recording device on my phone where he could record whatever was going on in the room I was in. Even when my phone screen was off. Fucking crazy, you know? He never caught me doing anything or saying anything too crazy. But he did record this one convo with one of my guy friends who was asking me if I would ever cheat on Peter. I said no, I never have or would, but that Peter has trust issues because I used to go out with people he didn't approve of. Well, fuck me, running he was and still is. Feeling some type of way, girl. To this day, he still talks about it and still listens to the recording. Just to make himself mad, I guess. It's literally so insane. And I know that the answer is I need to get the hell out of this relationship. And I have only told you a few of the crazy things he accuses me of. But like I said before, I have no one. I don't have any family. I don't have any friends and nowhere to fucking go. I don't understand why he is constantly accusing me of a bunch of shit that I'm literally not doing. I'm just so confused and don't know where to go or what to do. I offered to go to counseling, but he, of course, doesn't want to do that because he knows that the therapist would tell him he's crazy AF as fuck. He says that if I would just be honest and change the ish I'm doing behind his back, then everything would work. How am I supposed to change things that aren't even happening? FMLA girl, I wish I hadn't wasted so much of time and life in this relationship. I don't know how I'm going to pick up the pieces on this one. Yes, I have a small business, but it's new and I have and I make nowhere near enough to get my own apartment yet. I'm so mad at myself. Thanks again, girl, for reading my email. I appreciate it. XOX Kelly. I'm sorry, but I'm not about to let no man be putting tracking devices on me, acting like he worked for Mission Impossible, like he's some goddamn spy, putting all type of shits in your drink so that it can flow inside of your body and he can hear everything you're saying, putting tracking devices on your cell phone apps that you don't even know that's there. Like, this is what he literally did. He put some shit on her phone that she didn't even know was recorded. So, obviously, he must have gotten her phone to do that because there's no way that you could just do that remotely on somebody's phone. So, he must have got a hold of her phone, of Kelly's phone, and put some shit on it where he can secretly hear you record, recording you. This is a grown-ass man in their 30s. And they not only are together 24-7, but they are together 24-7. So how do you expect her to even cheat? The sad thing about this is he really believes in his own head that Kelly is cheating on him. Like, really has no proof. No proof whatsoever. Me, personally, I wouldn't even give a damn if I didn't have nowhere to go. You will end up making a way for yourself. She has nobody, no family to turn to, or even no friends. And I'm pretty sure you're not friendless. I'm pretty sure you do have some friends, Kelly, that you can just reach out to and see if you could, like, you know, spend some time on their couch and even help with some type of bills. Because, girl, this, whoo, take off that waist trainer, girl, because a bitch could not breathe after a while. It's bad enough. I'm already congested and stuffed up. But to wear that, who child, no. So, first of all, I don't know about y'all, but I just feel like this is like some type of, some sort of fucking stalking. Because you putting devices on my phone, you putting devices in my car, probably, in my earring hoops, you know what I'm saying? My chains, the side of my fucking boot bottom heels, or whatever. You like just doing the most. And like, I don't know about you, Kelly, but I couldn't live like that. Like, this nigga think he worked for Mission Impossible. And on top of that, he's like, shit would change, if you would just change shit, then... Y'all can move forward, basically. Like, change what? What you do need to do is change your lifestyle, girl. And move the fuck out. Move forward and move the fuck on. Because this dude is paranoid. And you know what's so sad? That it there's, like, another level to this. Like, seriously, there's just, like, a whole different level to this.
And you're probably like, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? But there's a whole other level to this. Because for one, he's just accusing you of doing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he probably get out of hand, like, mouthy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been together for over six years. So I'm pretty sure he avoids his opinion. It's obvious because if the dude puts something on your phone and he can secretly record, record you, he's definitely the one to voice his opinion. But even though that y'all probably have altercations, and I'm pretty sure y'all guys do because it seems like it's just not like, no, oh, well, I know you're doing something, like a type of combo like that because he's taking it so far to put something on your phone. But there's levels to it because if he's just starting out doing this dumb shit, what's next? What happens is he really starts feeling like you are cheating on him which you're not, and then he starts not only just recording you and accusing you, but also touching you with his hands, which is now returning into domestic physical violence. So why even allow it to escalate to that next level? That's This is how the shit starts out. And even though it may have gotten worse over time, but never physical, trust me when I tell you, why even allow it to get to that point? You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't even really sound that like you're really safe at where you're at. Because if you got somebody constantly, constantly, constantly accusing you of doing something, then sometimes we start to look at it like, so why are you so, why are you accusing me so much? Why are you up to some shit? That's what the old saying be. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they constantly accusing you, then that means that they're up to something. And that necessarily doesn't have to really mean that. You know what I'm saying? Some people could just be really insecure. And... Peter might be one of those people that are really insecure. It could be anything. Maybe he has bad skin. Maybe he's fat. Maybe he's short. Maybe his hair is receded. Who knows? And it don't have to be any of that. He can just feel insecure, an insecure person, and that's how they act. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's doing something that he has no business doing. But an insecure person can also become a very dangerous hurtful person too you know what I'm saying so why even take it to that level with him and allow him to get to that like that shit's got to be annoying because I know me I don't have like a really strong um hold of my temper sometimes because if you say some dumb shit to me and you constantly keep saying some dumb shit to me girl look I'm gonna get out I'm gonna get real mouthy and when I like to get real mouthy then I like to get hand happy and when I get hand happy you just better hope that your face ain't too close to my hands okay so I know me I wouldn't be able to take that shit on a daily basis weekly basis whatever like dude you not about to sit here and keep accusing me of some dumb shit when I work from home and so do you so what the fuck does that mean we like in quarantine still with everybody outside walking around nice and freely and you still sitting here fucking accusing me of cheating on your ass just for that, I just should leave your motherfucking ass because you are a whole headache and a half. That's how I would fucking feel about a dude fucking with my goddamn mental. Like, this is like a mental, like, abuse kind of thing. Like, this is definitely a mental abuse. Like, there's no way that you guys cannot say this is not mental abuse. And on top of that, that should have drive you crazy. Girl, listen, if he don't get hand happy, your ass might get hand happy. And why even put yourself through that? Girl, why, Kelly, do you hear the words that's coming out of my mouth? You miserable. You're basically saying you're miserable. You're saying, like, you know, if you have somewhere to go, you'd motherfucking go. You know me, I love to watch those shows on um, ID channel. April, April act like she a private guest investigator at times, okay? But I see many of, you know, documentaries where women have stayed in a relationship because they really didn't have anywhere to go physically. These women stayed in relationships because they didn't have anywhere to go physically. Mentally, you already there. You gone. You gone. If you're constantly putting up with um, being accused of shit that to you, you wouldn't do and that's against your your morals, then like, why would you sit there and put up with a treatment like that? Like, there's no way on God's green earth am I going to sit around and allow another person fucking accuse me on a daily basis of some fucking dumb shit that I ain't doing. Like, you're not about to do that. I, because I'm not doing it to you, okay? So, you're not about to sit here and make me miserable. Girl, I'd rather be miserable living in my car than miserable having to watch over my back where I live at around some fucking crazy-ass person on a 24-hour basis. Like, I'd be, I'd rather live in a, I'd rather be in a shelter than have to live with somebody like that. Like, there's alternatives because that right there is a mental abuse. Like, those, those DV shelters, they, they don't have to be always for physical. It's a mental thing, too. And girl, from what I'm seeing, 
reading it in this email, reading in this email, that shit is far from mental. That shit is just like overboard, like serious. Like who wants to live their life like that? Like you gotta look over your back because you don't know if this nigga wanna hit you upside the head because he feel like you was cheating. Like did he really, y'all? She was bent down in the fucking living room by the printer at four o'clock in the morning getting some paper. She didn't have the light turned on, so he had a whole fit about that. Basically, why is she up doing this in the dark? And then he turned it into she was having sex with somebody on the floor in their house. This is what he turned into in later. Like, yo, dude, you made up a whole motherfucking different story. Like, this is a different ending. Like, where do you get up doing some shit like that? And then think that it's okay? Like, yo, for real, once he would have said that sort of shit to me, I would have been like, you know what? Peace. Deuces, my dude. Deuces. Like, or some real shit. I told y'all, motherfuckers be crazy. And, like, if he can sit there and make you a whole new storyline and a plot with a plot twist ending, y'all, dude put in a whole new storyline with sex. said that she was having sex on the floor in they house. So, if you saw her and caught her, why you ain't do nothing to the fella? The fella, because that's what we're going to call him that she was supposed to be having sex with. Is the invisible fella. The fella, why you ain't do nothing? Dude, Peter, why you ain't do nothing to the fella that she was having sex with supposedly on your floor when you caught her? Niggas be tripping. Like, is he on motherfucking drugs? Because I swear to you, that nigga, if he ain't, maybe he need to be on some type of drugs because he acting like a whole different type of crazy. You know the crazies that end up in the straight jackets with the pattern rules because they be fucking acting crazy and have so many split personalities? Yes, that type of crazy, bitch. Listen, Kelly, it's your best bet why you still can to get the fuck out and figure it out, honey. Girl, listen, we as people are very resourceful, so therefore what I mean is you might have to stay in a hotel, you might have to stay in a shelter, you might have to stay in a car. Either way, it beats staying where you at. And I'm not saying become homeless. But also, don't become a victim either. Because you already being mentally abused. And what sense does that make? Like, there's no love. Like, how the fuck do you love somebody if you really feel like they cheating on you? If he really feel like you're cheating on him on a daily basis, why the fuck is he still in the picture? Like, that's what you should ask him, okay? If you feel like I'm cheating on you, then why are you still here? If you feel that I strongly am cheating on you, then why... Are you still in this relationship with me? Make it make sense. Like, seriously. Make it make sense. Because if you feel like that about somebody, why would you want to be with them? If you feel like they're really cheating on you, why would you want to be with them? Point blank, period, right? I'm just saying. I'm like, really, I'm just saying. Like, make it make sense. Some people just have, like, this insecure behavior that no matter what you tell them and show them... It's still not what you say it is, okay? But either way, I really feel like you, Kelly, need to step away from this. Like I said, we are very resourceful as human beings, and we always make a way. Regardless if you don't think you can or haven't been able to or have never tried it out before, there's always a way to get out of a situation if you truly want to get out of that shit. And his negative Nancy attitude is toxic, and why allow something like that to leech onto you? Toxic behavior is like the worst. Like, I try not to be so toxic sometimes, and I try to get along with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I try to do right by people. That's just me. Um, but, like, I, I can't see myself, like, engaging with somebody on a daily, ongoing basis that's toxic like that. Like, I know I could be a negative bitch at times, too, but... That type of behavior on, on all the time daily paces is like, you know, it's just like ludicrous. Like, it, who does that? And to be able to tolerate that from another person, it's like, girl, you, you are good and strong. You got some tough skin because I know me as a person and I definitely would not allow. I just wouldn't allow it. Like, you got one time, which means you ain't got no time to fucking accuse me of doing some shit like that, and I'm not doing it. Because, like, I, first of all, why the fuck did you even think of me as a person like that? So it's like, what is he thinking of Kelly as a person? If you constantly accusing her of cheating. And then just to say that she went from picking a piece of paper out of the printer, squatting to fucking somebody. Like, oh my God. Like, yo, dude is crazy. If he's not crazy, he is fucking now. 
point blank period so on that note kelly girl take key into what i said think about what i said and also read the comments because i'm pretty sure our divas out there are going to give their opinions advice or what have you or maybe even share their own story you know what i'm saying oh my god maybe i should just use that neti pot like i have the neti pot thing and i've never ever used it being congested is like the worst feeling ever oh fg but you guys i love you all make sure you make up subscribe thumbs the video up and Leave your comments in the real talk down below. <clears throat> oh my god. I love you all and I'll see y'all soon.